Ahoy, shipmates. It's another lovely morning here in the Port of Southampton. It's time to have a look at the Piano Aurora. They really are treated to some delightful sunrises this morning. Get a quick shot in of these lovely conditions. Sun just popping its head above a bank of clouds there. Wonderful. The red kestrel in tow here behind the uh, aurora. I think I'm going to get a shot here as she transitions past the sun. Oh. Almost perfect. That's not quite vertical on the bow there. It's casting a slightly unvertical shadow. Oh, and now the shadow's gone the other way. Oh dear. Well, that's the problem with a moving object. They, they keep moving. Oh, yes, it really has been some. Uh, Glorious conditions this morning. The Voldam earlier. There. And now we're back to the Aurora. The current forecast for the next couple of weeks is wind and rain and lots of rain. So I'm packing in my drone flying while conditions allow. the troubles of being next to the coast. Lots of weather. Well, of course, talking to the coast, where's Ventura come from? Well, she's been sunning herself in the, the Bay of Bournemouth. Went for a little trip down off of Portland and then did a complete circle there. I wonder if the captain had gone to bed and they, the staff said, let's see if we can do a circle and see if he notices. Anyway, back past Portsmouth, up Southampton Water and into the Port of Southampton. So conditions really are very good this morning. As you can see, there's not a lot of breeze. The smoke from the chimney there is just ever so gently wafting to the starboard side. A tug in tow. Red funnel ferries behind. Yes. Looks like in the distance there's a reduced visibility. Could be part of that cloud bank, or perhaps there is some fog. I did hear on the shipping forecast this morning that there were talk of fog in regions in the south. I think we've escaped it here. I think I might come round to this the starboard side and see if we can take a shot with the sun there and look at the forest. The new forest is nice and green. Plenty of rain lately. It's keeping the grass green. That's uh, okay. I don't think I've quite got the... Uh, Position right on that one. The, don't like the way the land cuts the funnel. Ah, oh, now now we're talking. If you come down to the bow here, it really emphasises the the bow on the boat, and it's a very pointy bow on this one. Let's have a look. A couple of shipmates down at the bow there, ready with the lines. Starting to look a little bit rusty down the side. Guessing there's no need to maintain the pristine condition of the hull when there's no passengers on board. But worth protecting that investment. Apparently, Aurora cost 375 million to build. Now launched in January 2000, so just over 20 years old. I imagine in cruise ship terms, getting on towards the end of life. Gross tonnage is 77,000. A length of 270 metres. Top speed of 24 knots. 
Oh, 44 kilometers now for continental types, or 28 miles per hour. Fun fact, uh, at uh, 24 knots, the Aurora gets roughly 68 gallons per mile on the fuel economy. It certainly makes your Ford Focus look economical, doesn't it? Anyway, I'll see if I can have a, have a whiz over here and get the two ships in the same shot. There we go. Not too bad, but too bad. Difficult to get the composition right when the when the ship's moving, and I wasn't thinking about where I needed to be. A yeah, capacity of nineteen hundred and fifty passengers, and a crew of eight hundred and fifty. I'm guessing no passengers on board at the moment. Oh, we all leave her to steam down to the far end of the docks and moor up. Until next time, shipmates.